so to double the fundamental frequency on a stretch string fixed at both ends its length is reduced to 3 by 4th of the original length the mass per unit length that is mu doesn't change and you have to find by what factor the tension should be increased to achieve this and the options are you can see so for the fundamental mode you know that the frequency that is the fundamental frequency is given by 1 upon 2 l under root t by mu right so let's assume that the new frequency is f2 which is twice the original frequency f1 or the old frequency f1 so if f is 1 upon 2 l under root t by mu and mu doesn't change then can you say that f is proportional to under root t by l yes makes sense and you can say that f1 by f2 must be equal to under root t1 by t2 into l2 by l1 where l2 is 3 by 4 l1 so this factor is just 3 by 4 and this factor f1 by f2 is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 is equal to under root t1 by t2 into 3 by 4 right which gives us t2 to be equal to 9 by 4 t1 so the new tension should be 9 by 4 times the old tension to achieve this and option d is the right answer so for this standing wave given by the equation y is equal to 0.8 cos pi x by 20 sin 200 pi t you simply have to find out the separation between a successive node and anti node so we know that the separation between two nodes is lambda by 2 right separation between this point and this point and from here you can clearly see that the separation between a successive node and an anti node is going to be this distance which is lambda by 4 so all we have to do is figure out what is lambda and divide it by 4 we will get our answer and finding out lambda is a pretty easy task in this case the factor kx is pi by 20 into x which means that, that the wave number k is pi by 20 and wave number you already know is 2 pi by lambda correct so lambda comes out to be 40 cm and lambda by 4 comes out to be 10 cm so we have the separation to be equal to 10 cm and option b is the right option according to this problem there are two strings that are vibrating first string has a length of 10 cm and one end of this string is fixed whereas the other end is free and this string is vibrating in its fundamental mode there's another string which is fixed at both the ends and this string is vibrating in its second overtone now according to the problem the frequency of the first string which is fixed at one end its fundamental frequency is given to be 1 by 2 of the frequency of the second overtone for the string whose two ends are fixed it has been mentioned that the velocity is same in both the strings and with this given information you have to find out what is the length of the string which is fixed at both ends okay so let's under understand this question better with the help of diagrams can you see in this case the shown string has the length of 10 cm which is noted by capital l and this string is fixed at one end and free at the other end now for its fundamental mode of vibration you know that the length of this string is going to be equal to wavelength divided by 4 right and 
its fundamental frequency will be given by V divided by 4L. Okay. Now let's focus on the string which is fixed at both the ends. Let's assume that the length of this string is small L. Now do you remember that second overtone is also the third harmonics, right? And there are going to be four notes and three antinodes, as you can see in the diagram. Correct? And the frequency of its second overtone or third harmonics is 3V divided by 2L. Let's call this frequency as F1 and this is F2. It has been given that F1 is F2 by 2. Let's put the values. So this comes out to be V divided by 4 capital L is equal to 1 by 2 into 3V divided by 2 into small l, right? And can you see from here, we have small l is equal to 3 times capital L and capital L is 10 centimeter, which gives us the length of the string fixed at both the ends to be equal to 30 centimeter, correct? So as simple as that, we found out in this case, option D is going to be the right answer. The fundamental frequency of vibration of a string which is fixed at one end and free at the other end is given as 200 Hertz. You have to find out the next two higher frequencies to which it vibrates. In simple words, you have to find out its first overtone and second overtone. Okay? So you know this well that in such a case we have the formula, the frequencies can be given by n plus 1 by 2 v divided by 2 l, right? And we know that the fundamental frequency is obtained by putting the value of n to 0, right? So we have the fundamental frequency, which is 200 hertz. So 200 is equal to, so n is 0, this is v divided by 4l, right? So we have the value of v by 4l to be equal to 200. And now let's put n is equal to 1 to find out the first overtone, right? So the first overtone let's call it F1, is going to be 1 plus 1 by 2, that is 3 by 2. Or you can say 3V by 4L. And the value of V by 4 is 200, so this is 600 Hertz. Correct? Are you getting the same thing? Good. How about the second overtone? For the second overtone, N should be 2, right? So this will become 5V by 4L, or you can say 5 into 200, that is 1000 Hertz. So we have both the overtones, and in this case, option A will be the right option. The length of a sonometer wire AB is given as 110 centimeter. Now you need to place two bridges from the end A. And these bridges will divide the whole wire into three segments. And it has been given that the fundamental frequency of vibration in these three segments should be in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay? So let's assume that this is the case where the first bridge is placed here and the second bridge is placed here. The length of the first segment is L1 the length of the second segment is L2 and the third segment is L3. And the total length L, which is 110 centimeter. Now, the fundamental frequency in each segment we know is going to be equal to V by 2L. And from here, can you see that the frequency is inversely proportional to the length of the segment? Right? Each segment acts as a wire fixed at ends and the vibrations are set in it. And we know that the mode of vibration is the fundamental mode, right? So if we know the ratio of the frequencies, then from here can you see that 1 by L1 is 2, 1 by L2 is 2, 1 by L3 has the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3, correct? Or you can say L1 is to L2 is to L3 
is 6 is to 3 is to 2. Right? Simple maths. So let's assume that L1 is 6x, L2 is 3x and L3 is 2x, where 6x plus 3x plus 2x is 110, which means that x is 10 centimeter. So we have the value of L1 to be equal to 60 centimeter. So the first bridge should be placed at a distance of 60 centimeter from point A, right? And L2 is 30 centimeter, which means that the second bridge must be placed at a distance of L1 plus L2 from end A, that is 90 centimeter. So we have the 60 centimeter and 90 centimeter from the end A as the location of these bridges, right? So in this case, can you see that option C is the right answer?